In today's video, we're going to be talking about one of the most important lessons I've learned since I got started stacking silver, which is patience. And I'm also doing a giveaway right now in the VIP club, and you only have one day left to enter. The only thing you have to do to enter is simply become a VIP club member. Link in the description. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video. Hope you're doing well, feeling great, and enjoying freedom. It's a great day to have a great day. Today, I wanted to talk about silver and also a little bit of gold, stacking the precious metals and the importance of patience, the importance of self-discipline, the importance of consistency over an extended period of time. We're gonna get into it, but really quick, just in case you're new. Make sure to subscribe for daily videos. Also subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel for exclusive weekly content. Brand new video over there, go check it out. The link will be in the description. And if you wanna get some DYDSS merchandise to help support the channel, I would really, really, really appreciate it. Any and all merchandise can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance, it's more than appreciated. But today is Tuesday, June 29th, 2021. It's currently 101 degrees outside, and as much as I love the outdoors, it's probably a better idea to film today's video inside, even though I'd rather be outside. The current spot price of silver, as I'm recording the video, is $25.81. Red day for silver, down 28 pennies. And then as for gold, the spot price is $1,765.30. A red day for gold as well, down $13 and 10 pennies. And of course, the gold to silver ratio is currently in the 68 to 1 range. Of course, these numbers are as I'm filming the video, not as I'm editing, posting, or as you're watching it. So head on down to the comments and let me know the date and time you're viewing the video and what the current spot price is for you. I'm always curious. And by the way, for the record, it's a red day for the stock market as well. It started green. I always have an alarm set for 9.29 a.m. That way I have 60 seconds before everything opens up so I can take a quick peek just to get a little bit of an idea of what's going on and how the day is probably going to go. Sure enough, I took a look. We were way in the green. We were on the way up from yesterday. Yesterday was a pretty big red day. We were making a little bit of a bounce back. Here we are, just a few hours later, and boom, straight back down. So it's not just precious metals in the red today, it's the stock market as well. But moving forward, I wanted to talk about stacking silver because there's a really important lesson that I've learned over the last three and a half years, which is patience. I can't speak for anyone but myself. Maybe there's a couple people out there who will be able to relate to what I'm about to say, but I'm not a very patient person. I don't like waiting. I don't like time going by. I understand patience as a virtue, but man, time is my most valuable asset. Time is all of our most valuable assets. It's the only thing in the world that you cannot get back. You could be a multi, multi, multi-millionaire and lose it all. And guess what? You can start from scratch and build your empire right back to where it was or even beyond. If you lose your money, you can go and get your money back. If your car breaks down or if your car gets totaled, guess what? You can always get a new car. If you lose your job, you can always get a new job. But time is finite. Time is fleeting and as depressing as this may sound, you cannot get it back. Which is where the struggle comes into play, because I understand the importance of patience, but I value my time so much, it's incredibly difficult, borderline impossible for me to be patient. It's always been that way. But ever since I started stacking silver and gold, it was a nice little reminder of the importance of patience and also self-discipline, by the way. Gave me a chance to work on something that I knew was going to take a really long time to complete. I might never complete it. I might just keep going and going and going forever when it comes to stacking. 
Of course, it's important to set goals for yourself. Maybe you want to hit X amount of ounces of silver in X amount of time. But guess what? When you hit that mark, in my opinion at least, that just means it's time to raise the bar. Never satisfied, always hungry for more, always looking for progress, productivity, and to keep moving up. But there's one thing standing in our way. You could argue there are two things standing in our way. Time, obviously, and dollar bills. But guess what? Guess how we get the dollar bills? We get the dollar bills by trading away our time. One could actually say that we are selling our time by going to work every day. Your boss, my boss, tells us how much an hour of our time is worth or how much a year of our life is worth, aka an hourly wage or an annual salary. It's pretty sad if you think about it that way, and I don't mean to be all dark and gloomy about it, but that's the reality of the situation. You and I are selling our time every single day we're on the clock. That's just how it is. So yes, currency is a bit of a roadblock, but we get the currency by trading our time. So time is the bigger issue. Time is not on your side. It's not on my side. It's not on anybody's side. It's always running away. It doesn't matter how fast you are. You could be Usain Bolt. doesn't matter. You cannot catch up if you're chasing time. If you're chasing the clock, it doesn't work that way. So silver has taught me patience because I know that it's completely out of my hands. I know that I am not in control of the clock. So every time I go to work, nowadays anyway, for the last couple of years, it's actually been a whole lot easier. Sure, it's brutal sometimes, especially if you work a physically demanding job. But guess what? If you go to work and you have in the back of your mind that you're working towards something greater, Mentally or psychologically, it kind of removes you from the rat race. At least that's how it is for me. And I like to view silver as my way of paying myself. After I'm done trading my time, selling my time to my employer in exchange for fake money, currency, fiat, pieces of paper with pictures and numbers on them with no intrinsic value, their value is determined by all of us mutually agreeing that they have value. Guess what? If every single one in the world said, hey, you know what? Screw the dollar. It's worth nothing anymore. Guess what? It becomes worthless. It's backed by hopes and dreams. Might even be backed by debt. It's not backed by gold anymore. But ever since I've been stacking gold and silver, it's kind of woken me up to the fact that Patience is even more important than I'd realized. I always knew it was important. I always knew it was crucial. I always knew that there are going to be things in life that you're just going to have to wait for. Or work for. So the silver and gold has made it a whole lot easier for me. It's given me something to work towards. It's given me a goal that I can set for myself. And little by little by little, troy ounce by troy ounce by troy ounce at a time, work my way toward that goal. And guess what happens when I hit that goal? An achievable goal that I set for myself. It revs up my enthusiasm, and then I set the bar higher. And then, three and a half years later, I have far more silver than I really ever expected to have. I always knew, you know, one day, one day, one day, I'll have quite a bit more silver, especially if you're someone like me. And I spent a vast majority of the last three and a half years just picking up, you know, five, 10, 15 troy ounces at a time. I don't have all the currency in the world to work with. After I'm done taking care of my financial responsibilities, it's not like I'm rolling around in $30,000 left over at the end of the month. No, absolutely not. But even if you're stacking just a little bit at a time, every piece of silver or every piece of gold you pick up is one step closer to the goal. 
the goal that obviously is going to require patience but every single time you go to work and every single time you get that paycheck and every single time you convert a little bit of cash into a little bit of money you are one step closer that's how I see it that's how I view it it's just my opinion not a financial advisor nothing on this channel is financial advice do your own research form your own opinions make your own decisions based on your conclusions not mine but I want you guys to head on down to the comments and let me know what are your thoughts on everything I shared in today's video and have you started to understand the importance of patience a little bit more ever since you started stacking the precious metals? And if anybody's interested in joining the Precious Metals VIP Club, it's where I can do things on my own terms. Not on YouTube's terms. My terms. I'm hosting privately held live streams. They're smaller and easier to manage. I'm posting exclusive VIP-only adventure vlogs. I also do giveaways, discounts, personalized promo codes shout outs deal alerts when silver and gold is on sale on a variety of different websites and of course you can watch all of my videos early and commercial free come join the precious metals vip club it'll be the first link in the description you're invited i'd be happy to have you and if you guys enjoyed today's video please hit that like button if you guys like me make sure to hit that subscribe button like a karen hits a bus window also subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel for exclusive weekly content. Bunch of brand new videos over there. I posted one about China banning cryptocurrency, one about AT&T cutting its dividend, other videos about real estate, videos about silver, videos about gold, and a bunch of others. Go check them out. The link will be in the description. Trying really hard to hit 3,000 subscribers. We just hit 2,000. And I appreciate that. And if you want to help support the channel in the biggest possible way, please consider getting yourself some DYDSS merchandise. Of course, we have some precious metal themed t-shirts and hoodies, which are up for grabs, along with a ton of other products. T-shirts, hoodies, even stickers, many of which are raising funds and awareness for different charity organizations, such as the recently released Kraken Stacking T-shirt hoodie sticker and coffee mug inspired by the beautiful two ounce silver kraken coin which by the way is helping us raise a little bit of funds and awareness for ocean cleanup charity organizations at no additional cost to you it comes out of my pocket not yours and of course last but not least the brand new dydss karen free zone t-shirt hoodie sticker and coffee mug my name is not Karen. Any and all merchandise can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance. It's more than appreciated. And I want you guys to head on down to the comments and let me know once again. What are your thoughts on everything shared in today's video regarding the patience that is required, the patience that is mandatory when it comes to stacking the silver and the gold? Because it's not like we can just wake up in the morning and decide for ourselves, I'm going to get all of the silver that I'm ever going to want, ever going to need. Going to get it all right now today. Going to snap my fingers, boom. 100,000 troy ounces of silver are going to be sitting in front of me. Unfortunately, it doesn't work that way. It's delayed gratification. And I'm going to cut myself off right there because I'd like to make another video talking about delayed gratification. But let me know anything and everything related to today's video topic in the comments section down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. And remember, don't you dare stop smiling. Peace.